Hi everyone. Welcome to Little Hive Crafts. Today we are going to crochet this willow cranny square that I absolutely love. You will need a 3.5 mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle and cotton yarn. I have used the brand Laura Knitting Cotton from India. You can use any DK light worsted or medium worsted weight yarn suitable for the hook that you're using. This tutorial has been designed for those who already know the basic stitches and can follow patterns. Let's begin. We're going to start with a slip knot. There are many ways to do this and this is how I do it. Insert your hook inside and chain 5. Now we are going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a loop. So insert your hook into the first chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. Here you see a little hole in the middle, that's where we are going to work our first round of stitches. Chain 3 to begin with and now we are going to make 15 double crochets into the hole. Our chain 3 also counts as a stitch. Apart from that, we are going to crochet 15 double crochets. So at the end of the round, we should have 16 double crochets in total, including the chain 3 that we made in the beginning. At the end of the round, when you count, there should be 16, including chain 3. And now we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of the chain 3 that we made. So insert your hook into the top of the 3 chains and slip stitch to finish this round. Now we are on round 2 and we are going to make 4 chains. And then into the next stitch we are going to do a double crochet. So go into the next stitch and make a DC or double crochet followed by a chain 1 and again in the next stitch make one double crochet and chain 1 and repeat this pattern all around. So you'll be making one double crochet into each stitch followed by a chain 1 till the end of this round. The most important thing to get the square right is to be very mindful of the stitch count at the end of every round. I'm just making a double crochet into the last stitch followed by a chain one and now we're going to slip stitch into the third chain one, two, three. We made four chains in the beginning of this round and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain and now we will have 16 stitches and 16 spaces in between. We will begin round 3 with chain 3 and now we are going to work into the space next to it. We are going to make 2 double crochets into that chain 1 space. So 1 and 2 double crochet. And then we are going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. So one double crochet and two double crochet into the space adjacent to that. One and two. We are going to follow this pattern. One DC on top of every stitch and two double crochet in the gap. Again, one DC on top of the stitch and two double crochet in the gap. We're going to do this all through the round. At the end of this round, we should have 48 stitches. We 
now going to slip stitch to the top of chain 3 that we made in the beginning insert your hook into the third chain and do your slip stitch and as always I cannot overemphasize that we need to count at the end of every round you should have 48 stitches here Moving on to the fourth round where all the fun begins, we are going to make a single crochet stitch into the first double crochet of the previous round. So you see in that gap we made two DCs. So on top of the first DC we are going to insert our hook and make a single crochet. Then we chain two, skip the next stitch and into the next stitch we are going to make another single crochet. Chain 2 again, skip the next stitch and into the next stitch make a single crochet. And for the last time chain 2 once more, skip the next stitch and into the next stitch make a single crochet. As you can see we have made 3 small loops here, now we are going to chain 8. Then we are going to skip the next 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and into the next stitch you are going to do a single crochet chain 2, skip the next stitch and into the next another single crochet, chain 2, skip the next stitch and into the next a single crochet, once more chain 2, skip the next stitch and into the next stitch another single crochet to make another set of 3 loops. This pattern repeats itself, you are going to chain 8 again, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and we are going to skip the next 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and into the next stitch we are going to make a single crochet, chain 2, skip the next stitch, make a single crochet in the next chain 2, skip one more, a single crochet in the next, chain 2, skip the next, a single in the next. You have made your third set of 3 small loops followed by chain 8, 5, 6, 7 and 8, skip the next 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and into the 6th you are going to make a single crochet, chain 2, skip 1, single crochet in the next, chain 2, skip 1, single in the next, chain 2, skip 1, single in the next. And now just to give you an idea of what is it that we are making. I'm just going to show you the three big corners that we have made and the small loops. I'm going to follow it up by chain 8 again, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I missed a count. Now if you see you will be left with 5 stitches in the end and you will have the first single crochet that you made in the beginning of this round. You're going to put your hook inside and do a slip stitch to close the round. This is what we have at the end of round 4. We have 4 big corners made by chain 8 spaces and 12 smaller loop gaps, 3 on each side which is where we will work in our next round. 
we are on round five and now we are going to work into these smaller loops here into the first gap we are going to go in and make a single crochet and in the second loop gap I don't know why I'm calling it a loop gap <laughs> into the second space we are going to do seven double crochet all in the same space so this round is going to have a mix of single and double crochet stitches watch carefully three and it's very important to keep count of our stitches in this round four five six and seven seven DC into the second gap and in the last small space or gap there we're going to do one single crochet again now in the next big gap we're going to make seven double crochet chain to another seven double crochet all into the same gap so count your stitches again I know I'm just repeating this over and over sorry about that but that's what we need to do count our stitches six and seven chain two and another seven double crochet into the same space this is what we'll have in the end and now we are going to repeat this pattern of single crochet in the first loop 7 double crochet in the second small loop and single in the third loop and into the corner we are going to make 7 double crochet, chain 2, 7 double crochet. We will follow that on all the 4 sides of the square. I am now in my last big corner space where we need to do 7 double crochet, chain 2, 7 double crochet before we finish this round and slip stitch. If at any point you feel like going back to the beginning of this round to see the pattern once more, please feel free to do that. Sometimes people also ask me how to slow down and alter the pace of the video you have a setting option within YouTube to do that at the bottom right of your screen. If you press settings, you will see the option of playback speed where you can alter the speed of the video to suit your need. So when you finish the last corner, this is how your square will look. And now we are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet made in the beginning of this round. So enter the single crochet, grab the yarn and slip stitch to close. There we go at the end of round 5. Round 6 is another potentially confusing round but I am sure you will get it. We will start by making chain 5 and now we are going to make a single crochet on the fourth double crochet stitch of the previous round one two three four remember we made seven double crochets so we're going to go into the middle one which is the fourth and make a single crochet there and then we chain three and now we are going to make a half double crochet stitch 
on top of the single crochet of the previous round. So if you skip the next three double crochet, you'll come to the single crochet that you made there. Into that single crochet, we make a half double crochet stitch. Then we're going to chain five, three, four, five, and go into the corner space. That small space in the corner, we're going to go into that and make one double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet into the same space. So that's what we have here. We started with chain five, single crochet on the fourth double crochet, chain three, half double crochet on the single crochet, chain five, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the corner. It's not so confusing, I assure you, if we follow one step at a time. Now we chain five again, four, five, and we're going to work a half double crochet into the single crochet there from the first gap. Work a half double crochet into the single crochet, chain three, and into the fourth double crochet, we are going to make another single crochet. Chain three again, half double crochet on top of the single crochet from the previous round. Chain 5 and now we get to the second corner where we are going to again do one double crochet, chain 3, one double crochet in the same corner space. Double crochet, chain 3, double crochet. Chain 5 again. Another half double crochet on top of the single crochet there. Chain 3, one single crochet on top of the fourth double crochet, which is right in the middle. A single crochet there, chain 3 again, one half double crochet on top of the single crochet there, half double crochet, chain 5, 3, 4, 5, into the third corner we go in and make one double crochet, chain 3, one double crochet all in the same corner space. We're going to chain five again, a half double crochet on top of the single crochet there. This is our last side of the square. We make a half double crochet there, chain three, a single crochet on top of the fourth DC there. Go into the fourth double crochet or DC and make a single crochet. Chain three again. Another half double crochet on the next single crochet. Chain five. In the last corner space, we're going to work one double crochet, chain three, one double crochet, all in the same corner space. And now we are going to chain five, 
and we are going to slip stitch to close so it's important to see where we are slip stitching into you see that chain 5 we made in the beginning of this round we are going to slip stitch into the second chain so count 1 2 into the second chain from the bottom we are going to make our slip stitch to close this round At the end of round 6, we should have 20 loops or spaces into which we will work our next and final round 7 of this willow square. Well done if you've come this far. Now on to our last and final round. We're going to slip stitch into the space next to where your hook is. So just slip stitch into that space and chain 3. One, two, three. This counts as a stitch. We are now going to work three double crochet into the same space below. One, two, and three. Three double crochets there. And into the next space, we are going to do four double crochet. Into the next chain 5 space, we are going to work 5 double crochets all in the same space. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now you can see the little corner space there. That will be the first corner that we will work into in this round and we are going to do 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet all in the same space. So again, let's be mindful of where we are putting our stitches in. 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet all into the same corner space. We then come to the big chain 5 space next to it where we are going to again do 5 double crochets. So after the corner we are going to work 5 double crochet into the next chain 5 space. And in the two middle spaces here we are going to do four double crochet into each space so four double crochet in the first space in the middle two three and four and another four double crochet in the second space there next to it Five double crochet in the next chain five space. Now we are in the corner again where we will repeat three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all into the same corner space. We'll repeat 5 double crochet into chain 5 space, 4 DC into each of the middle spaces, 5 DC again and in the corner 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. Let's do this and come back. In my last corner, I'll work 3 DC, chain 2, 3 DC and 5 DC in the last chain 5 space. Mm -hmm. 
if you've done till here hurrah you're about to finish by doing a slip stitch to the top of chain 3 made in the beginning so to close this last and final round slip stitch to the top of chain 3 and there you have your pretty willow granny square I just wanted to show you a size variation made with a smaller hook and a thinner yarn. So you can follow this pattern in any yarn size and appropriate hook size that you have. You will still get your desired gorgeous square.